Let's see. Oh, it's right over here. How the fuck did I miss that? Yeah, well. I'm blind for everything I'm looking for. Thank God for highlights. Otherwise, <laughs> I would have been busy for a lot. What do you need? Never mind. I'll, I like to have them like this. Well, fuck. Come on. Wait a sec. Morgan. Frost on. What now? Attack. Now this should be amusing. Change back. And on. Fury. And so I shall. Now this is more like it. I should like it. Come and get it. Here we go. Much better, don't you think? And so I shall. Open. Delighted. Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Maybe. Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? I'll ask the questions here. I, yes, I understand. I'm the cop. I don't want any trouble from you, do you understand? Yes, no trouble from me. I understand. How did you get here? The Arlesa imprisoned me here. You're the mage you mentioned? You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. She said she, you potioned the all. I'm not proud of my deed. Poisoning Arl Eamon was what I was hired to do. Lady Isold had no idea when she took me in to tutor her son, of course. Uh, what about the walking corpses? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Why did you poison all Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malificar. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow. I have to! So... Karen Loghain himself hired you? Yes. When the Templars caught me, they brought me to Denerim to await execution. Eventually, someone came to see me, alone. It was the Terran. I'd seen paintings of him, so I knew. I thought he'd have me executed right there. But he said I could make up for my crime. He said I would be helping the country. Uh, why is all Eamon a threat now? Uh, why did... No. Why are you so eager to make things right? I'm not allowed regrets. I've made a stupid mistake at the Circle, and now I've made an even greater one. I'm... Not a bad person. There's no reason for you to believe me, but I'm not. I have to make up for what I've done. I have to try. Why is Arl Eamon a threat exactly? He only said that Arl Eamon was dangerous to the nation. Why wouldn't I believe Terran Loghain? But why did Arles uh, need a mage anyways? It's not like her son is a mage. Connor had started to show Signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? 
I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Perhaps her son is responsible of all this. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Why would Isada be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away, forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. All Eamon had no idea of his son's abilities? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. How much magic did you teach How much magic did you did you teach Connor? And I can talk real good English. Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. I see. I think I understand. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us. But if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. Uh, da, da, da. So how will you make things right? I... well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that, what happens? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. So... If I were to just let you go? I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. Isn't that a... Uh, oh, that's commendable if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. Or I'll just cut off your head. You're letting me out? And what then? You will come with me, that is what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. Uh, then help. Just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Well, Morgan approved, and that's all that matters. Of course. And every lock has to be open. Why is it that that one is opened, and this one's opened inwards? Ah, eh, screw it. Pile of filth. As you desire. Yeah. Well. No. Ah, eh, screw it. Notes. Fifty experience. Oh, mm. always oh, nice. Hello. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You call that? Come, let's show <laughs> some love. <laughs> 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 I never liked <laughs> 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 As you deserve. <laughs> This. Come, let's shed some let's make this quick. Ankles. Ah, oh, fuck.
fuck. I didn't even watch my HP. Oh crap. And so I shall. Well, that's all looted up. Let's check these bones. And then a long bow. Anything else? Nope. Go with filled, fill, full, and full. Better safe than sorry. Let's see. Anything here? Nope. Of course. Hmm. I see a large room here, so hello. bit too loud and you know what Morgan can you make some stuff for me because I kind of need some hmm you know what spam the fuck out of it and then one here no you use one you just move here and then it's done. Lesser health potions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can. And so I shall. <laughs> right then. All right. Be defeated. Well, alrighty. Book. Holly Holla hoo ha. There was a prophet that is born. I don't know why the fuck I'm doing. Ah, oh, crap. Come. Ah, uh, what the hell? Of course. Delighted. <laughs> Three for the price of one, and you drink up. You know what? Drink up. Watch out! Try not to look too incompetent. It's embarrassing. You guys are far too loud, and I need to wait up before I attack again. Fuck my HP. Fuck. And I need to go that way, I think. Filled? Yep. Armory. I like to loot, loot, loot. And uh, no, it's all works. right. I almost uh, don't got any space left. Anything else? Nope. L looted everything. Like a pro.